What is your outlook for the global economy in 2011? I'm not an economist, but I feel confident that multiple parts of the world economy will return to pre-September 2008 conditions this year. Indeed, one of the great untold stories is just how stable and just how resilient the world economy is today, given all the shocks that it's received over the past couple of years. Of course, the world's three major economic drivers, Europe, America, and the big emerging economies are all facing differing challenges and will grow at different rates. That said, at Coca-Cola, we're seeing signs of stronger economies in most of the 206 nations where we operate. The BRIC countries, of course, continue to be the most resilient, followed closely by a number of smaller emerging nations across Eurasia, across the Middle East, Asia, Latin America, and Africa that have fared equally well since September of 2008. Europe feels more like a tale of three cities. Northwest Europe, France, Germany seem like they're beginning their journey of recovery, whereas Southern Europe continues to be a little more challenged, and East and Central Europe, including Russia, have are having a robust comeback. Our flagship market, North America, which has seen its fair share of stress over the past 24 months, has all the ingredients to be a center of growth over the next decade. An enterprising and vibrant young population, coupled with a heritage of entrepreneurship and innovation, is generally a good recipe for a positive future. So if the right fiscal, uh, and monetary and economic policy decisions are made timely in America and Europe and the big emerging economies, I believe we could be on the cusp of a decade of unprecedented opportunity and growth in markets all around the world. The world in 2011 is exceedingly complex, interconnected, and unpredictable. How can organizations develop resilience in this new world of risk? Resilient businesses will be those that reach out and engage with leadership from government, with leadership uh, from civil society to help tackle society's biggest challenges. Whether it's a social problem, an environmental problem, or an economic problem, this golden triangle of business, government, and civil society partnership is where we are going to see the most progress. Resilient businesses and organizations will be those that make bold investments today across the entire sustainability spectrum. Here is the reality we're all facing. In the next 10 years, the next decade, we're going to see a billion people around the world enter the middle class. We're going to see increased urbanization and population pressure, and we're going to see greater demand for fewer resources. Strategically, investing in sustainability initiatives today is the surest path toward mitigating many of tomorrow's largest risks. As global growth shifts to the developing world, what should be the role of business in developing countries? Generating uh, economic development and job opportunities for communities is critically important today so too is respecting local cultures and the environment. So as the world becomes more integrated economically and socially, we're seeing an equally strong reassertion of local values and local cultures. Businesses need to be respectful of this and do our part to become part of the fabric of the community. How can companies turn sustainability into a competitive advantage. The moment businesses stop referring to the term sustainability and instead simply call it smart business is the moment they reach competitive advantage. When you innovate and create new solutions to reduce energy and reduce material costs, when you empower and improve the communities and people that you do business with, when you safeguard and protect the resources that go into your products, 
That's not just about sustainability. That's simply smart business.